The battery warning light is in the shape of a battery symbol, usually with a plus and minus sign. There are a few reasons why the battery warning light might come on. From a loose or corroded battery cable to a faulty alternator, I will explore the possible causes and fixes. Unlike other indicators that might light up for a moment when you start your engine, this light staying on indicates a deeper issue that could involve the car battery, alternator or voltage regulator. A battery warning light is one of the several car safety management indicators on your dashboard. That red battery light on the dash is specially designed for issuing immediate warning signs to the driver if and when something goes wrong with the car battery or a part that's directly linked to it. Bad battery A car's battery usually lasts between 3 to 5 years. But as your car battery ages, the electrodes inside it might break or the electrolyte contained within the car's battery may leak. As a result, the battery voltage and battery power generated will decrease. And with a dead battery, the battery voltage would just drop to zero. When either of these happens, your dashboard battery light activates to warn you of a bad battery or dead battery. Malfunctioning alternator An alternator is a component that charges your vehicle's battery. If your vehicle's alternator is malfunctioning, the vehicle battery may not receive sufficient voltage for proper charging or it may get exposed to excessive voltage. In many cars, the optimal charging voltage is between 13.6 and 14.6 volts. If your vehicle has a failing alternator or faulty alternator, it will probably produce a voltage outside the optimal range and this can negatively affect the proper functioning of your vehicle battery. As a result, the battery warning light can turn on to indicate that you've got a failing alternator or worse, a wholly damaged alternator. Broken alternator belt An alternator belt uses the power generated by the engine crankshaft to spin the alternator which charges your car battery, run the air conditioning system, power steering and other vehicle accessories. However, with repeated working, this alternator belt or serpentine belt can develop cracks over time and finally break. When that occurs, your battery can't be charged anymore with the broken alternator belt and the battery warning light turns on. Corroded battery terminal Your battery terminal or battery post can undergo corrosion from exposure to the leaking electrolyte solution, vented hydrogen, atmospheric moisture and so on. Additionally, heat generated from your engine can accelerate the corrosion of your battery post or battery terminal. A corroded battery terminal or battery post is a poor conductor of electricity. And since your battery ultimately receives power through these terminals, poor electrical conductivity can result in a battery charging problem. Consequently, the dashboard battery light can turn on to indicate this charging problem. Faulty battery cable Battery cables are responsible for delivering power from the battery to the rest of your vehicle. If a battery cable cracks or degrades, the flow of electricity may get interrupted. Moreover, if the battery cable isn't snugly fit around the battery terminal, the recharging process may also be adversely affected. When either of these scenarios happens, your battery dashboard warning light could turn on. Wiring issues your charging system and the electrical circuits that draw power from it involve lots of wiring. When any of these wires break or get disconnected for some reason, you'd have trouble charging the battery or drawing power from it. For example, say your vehicle's ground strap or ground wire is damaged. The ground wire completes the electrical circuits in your car and ensures that electricity flows the way it's supposed to. If it's damaged, your vehicle could encounter charging issues and the electrical components could start acting up in different parts of your vehicle. As a result, your battery light may activate. Accessory overload. Many accessory components in your vehicle draw power from the alternator. This includes the subwoofers, auxiliary lighting gear, winches and more. However, the problem here is that the same alternator also charges the vehicle's battery. And if too many accessories draw power from the alternator at once, it won't be possible to charge your vehicle's battery effectively. When this persists, your battery's energy levels may get depleted too much, resulting in a battery light activation. 
Apart from these seven common causes, there can be other reasons why your dashboard warning light or charging system light is on. Blown fuse, causing a short in your vehicle's electrical system. Malfunctioning voltage regulator. Damaged alternator pulley. If the battery warning light is coming on and off intermittently or blinking occasionally for the first time, it should not yet be a cause for panic. In fact, it is safer to continue driving to a nearby service center or a local mechanic for a checkup if you are already in the middle of your trip. At the same time, it can be dangerous for drivers who ignore their flashing battery warning light for too long. If the engine stalls, you might not be able to restart it. The short answer is yes. If MOT inspectors see your car's red battery light on, it will most likely fail the test. As clearly stated on the government website, all visible electrical wiring and the car's battery will be checked thoroughly. Given that a battery warning light is an assurance of the fact that something is amiss with the battery, get it checked and fixed before your MOT. So how to fix a battery warning light? Although battery warning lights normally need to be inspected by professional mechanics, here are two general steps you can take. Check the battery. The first step is to examine the battery. Check for any visible damage, corrosion around the terminals or loose connections. Reset the light. Sometimes the battery warning light might stay on even after you fix the problem. In this case, you may need to reset the light. This usually involves disconnecting the battery for a few minutes, then reconnecting it. However, this can also reset other systems in the car so it's best to consult your vehicle's manual or a mechanic. Remember, ignoring a battery warning light can lead to more serious problems over time, including damage to the vehicle's electrical system, a dead battery or a vehicle that won't start. If the light stays on despite your efforts or you're unsure how to proceed, it's time to visit a professional. A certified mechanic can diagnose and repair the problem, whether it involves replacing a failing alternator, fixing damaged cells in the battery or addressing electrical faults. The dashboard battery light serves as a critical warning system for your car's health, signaling issues within the electrical charging system. By understanding the common causes behind this light and knowing the initial steps to take, you can prevent minor issues from escalating into major repairs. Remember, regular maintenance and prompt attention to any warning lights can keep your vehicle running smoothly and safely. Sometimes you'll notice that your battery light comes on and goes off again when accelerating because it knows that there isn't enough power coming in from its source, the alternator. This issue can also be brought on by a loose connection or a damaged serpentine belt. A defective battery can occasionally harm an alternator, thus the battery itself may also be the source of the issue. If your car's battery is acting up, it could be for any number of reasons, all of which I've tried to list in this video. If I have helped you, I will be very happy for a comment below. <laughs>